on. <laughs> is it on? Is it on? Can you see me? Okay. <laughs> Look where we've landed. What are you doing? Fire bending. <laughs> Elegant. <laughs> Exquisite. Minced. F it. It's white hole. <laughs> 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 All right, let's do a mo, yeah? Ooh, look where we've landed. What are you doing? Fire <laughs> bending? <laughs> Airbender, yeah. We've landed in Pau Mau, and like many locations on the Monopoly map, Pau Mau serves as a connecting location, connecting Trafalgar Square, the Crimean War Memorial, and Green Park Station. But nevertheless, we did find a location we can go to for Pau Mau, so come follow me. All right guys, so we've entered high society and here we are at St. James Palace, originally home to a lot of kings and queens up until the reign of Queen Victoria. So it was around 300 years, it was a residency and now is used as a hub for diplomatic meetings and charity organizations. And technically, it's still a London residency from the Prince of Wales and Princess Alexandra. Okay, so if you're looking for something to do in Pall Mall, St. James Palace is the one. So guys, we are at Northumberland Avenue and it's not what's on the avenue, it's what it's connected to. So one minute that way we've got Trafalgar Square, one minute that way we've got the River Thames. And I would suggest getting off at Embankment Station for this spot that I'm going to show you. Let's go. Guys, we are at the Golden Jubilee Bridge. Now there's two of them, it's a public footway and there's one on each side of the Hungerford Bridge which is rail tracks which cross through Charing Cross Station, okay? Now, one thing I love about this is the panoramic views you get of London are amazing. So on this side of the bridge that we're on, you've got South and East London being the Shard, and um, we call this the Docklands, I nearly forgot the name. And then on the other side of the footway, which is on the other side of the rail tracks, you've got Westminster, London Eye, and it's crazy how, no matter how rubbish, the weather is in London, which is like 99% of the time, London still has a way of being majestic in its own way. And regardless, it's an amazing sight. Under the white hoop. Let's go. Okay, so right over there you will see Horse Guard Parade. On the right of me down the road you will also see Trafalgar Square and further down there you will see Westminster Abbey and if you turn left from that road you will also see Westminster Bridge uh, and of course the notorious Big Ben is over there. Obviously right now it's under construction so we'd rather not show you um, but we'll take you down the road. We'll take you to somewhere uh, something a little bit different uh, and uh, let's go Yes, people we are here at 10 Downing Street Famously known for housing the Prime Minister himself now just further down the road is Westminster Abbey and Houses of Parliament That's one thing you can check out while you're here in Whitehall hey guys another thing to mention about Whitehall There's always Whitehall Gardens this is just a very nice spot where you can sit here, relax, enjoy your lunch and when the weather's good you can just enjoy the view really. You've got the whole of the um, London Eye over there, the whole bridge and then this place is just a two minute walk from Embankment Station. So yeah, do check it out.
Okay guys, so we've landed in Marleybone, one of the youngest stations um, in all of London. Only opened in 1899, which to us is very old, but you know, compared to other stations out there, it is one of the youngest and one of the smallest. Am I correct? Yes, it is one of the smallest, uh, with only one other train going here apart from the underground itself. Not only that, Malibu is actually home to one of the greatest fictional detectives of all time. Alright, one of the most famous addresses here on Baker Street, literally about a five minute walk away from Marleybone Station here at 221B. Um, it's actually protected by the government as a heritage site. Um, right up there, if you can see it, it's a blue sign where, according to the stories written by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, um, Sherlock Holmes did live here between 1881 and 1904. Another fact, before this video, me and Mo didn't actually know he was not real. <laughs> So a quick, quick Google search did actually solve that, but um, it just goes, it goes to show how much depth the story is created, so much so that me and him thought it was real. An amazing sight. We've just landed in Bow Street and the nearest station from here is Covent Gardens and we're going to take you to our favourite spot here at Bow Street. Let's go! Alright guys, we are here at the Royal Opera House as you can see. Uh, a few couple facts for you guys. Uh, it was made in 1732. In 1734 was when they first hosted the, their first ballet show and um, if you've never been here before it's definitely worth checking out uh, especially if you've never experienced uh, shows like opera or ballet or those kind of shows before it's worth checking out So guys, we are at our next spot. As you can see, it is the Liberty store behind me. The nearest station is Oxford Circus Station, which is literally a couple of minutes walk away, just off Regent Street. Now, Liberty store, Liberty London, is a whole brand. It's a whole lifestyle. This is actually the only store, right? And it's in London, which is mad. And I've heard it's themed. I've actually never been, so I'm learning with you guys, okay? But I've heard every so often they change up the theme and I can't wait to show you what's inside. Let's go. We are here at Vine Street. Now, you guys are probably thinking, what's there to do on Vine Street? Let me show you guys. Absolutely nothing. There is nothing on Vine Street. However, I did come up with a solution for it. Let me guys take you to somewhere special. Let's go. Yes, people, as you can see, there was nothing on Vine Street. So I decided we're gonna go for a quick four minute walk down here to the Ritz. Now, one thing about this hotel is very well known throughout the world for its elegance and its luxury and what a more British thing you can do than to have an afternoon tea right at this hotel let's go also I forgot to mention it's just off Green Park station as soon as you come out the station turn left is right in front of you now let's go <laughs> elegance <laughs> exquisite <laughs> that's what I saw what? Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification because Mo always forgets the reason why because what do we do it for? So people can be the first to see when our 
videos upload. I want energy, energy. Yes. Shut yeah, up. So that <laughs> <laughs> Let's go.